Good evening, everyone. And my name is Vakar Khan, and I'm the Equity Research Analyst at William O'Neill India. And I welcome you all to this week's Market Wrap. Without taking your much time, let's start with Nifty 50's chart analysis for the week. During the week, Nifty declined by just 1.8 percent, but remained highly volatile. On Monday, after a long weekend tracking global queues, Nifty gapped down and reached its 21 DMA along the way. However, it found support near its 50 and 200 DMA and marginally closed above these key supports at the end of the trading session. On Monday, Nifty declined by 1.7 percent, and as volumes was higher than that of Friday, a distribution day was added. So on Monday, the distribution count stood at three. On Tuesday, Nifty remained range bound for most parts of the trading session until the very last hour, when a sudden bout bout of selling took it below the 200 DMA as well below the 17,000 level. On Tuesday. Nifty declined by 1.2 percent, and as volumes was again higher than that of Monday, another distribution day was added, and the count now stood at four. According to William O'Neill methodology of tracking distribution days, and when the count increases past four, we need to change the market status to uptrend under pressure. On Wednesday and Thursday, there was sharp recovery in the markets, and markets closed higher by 1.1 percent on Wednesday and 1.5 percent on Thursday. On Thursday. Nifty recovered its 200 DMA and 50 DMA and closed marginally below its 21 DMA. On Friday as well, Nifty closed 1.3 percent lower, but as volumes was lower than that of Thursday, hence a distribution day was not marked. As already discussed, piling up of distribution days and the count increasing past four can take the markets to uptrend under pressure. Markets can remain volatile during this phase. Now talking about the IMF's growth projection. In IMF's latest latest estimates of global GDP growth, they have projected global growth at 3.6 percent for 22, 2022, and 2023 as well, which is 80 BPS and 20 BPS lower than its January projection. For India, IMF projects India GDP growth at 8.2 percent in FY23, which is 80 BPS lower than its projection in January. FY24 India is expected to grow at 6.9 percent, which is 20 BPS lower than the previous projections. The following are the reasons behind the scene. Economic damage from the war in Ukraine can contribute to a significant slowdown in global uh, global GDP in 2022, and will add to inflation, according to IMF. Fuel and food prices have increased, hitting vulnerable populations in low-income countries the hardest. India's downgrade. In growth reflects on account of weaker domestic demand as higher oil prices are expected to weigh on private consumption and investment and also a drag from lower net exports. Jerome Powell raised eyebrows with his speech yet again as he affirmed that US Fed is determined to bring down inflation and aggressive rate hikes are possible as soon as next month. Jerome Powell's statements essentially meet market expectations that the Fed will depart from its usual 25 BPS point hikes and move more quickly to tame the inflation that is running its fastest pace in more than 50 years. Expectation for a 50 BPS point move in May rose to 99.8 percent, according to the CME Fed Watch tool. Stocks fell, sending Dow Jones down by more than 400 points, and Nasdaq, with its interest rate sensitive tech stocks, lower by more than 2 percent. On Thursday, Treasury yields continued their upward march as the 10-year note more recently stands at 2.9 percent, a level last seen in 2018. Along with rate hikes, the Fed the Fed is expected to start reducing the balance sheet as well. The U.S. Fed has close to nine trillion, primarily consisting of treasuries and mortgage-backed securities. Discussion in March meeting indicated the Fed eventually will be reducing 95 billion proceeds. From the maturing bonds to roll off each month. Markets are likely to remain volatile, tracking global queues such as elevated commodity prices, which has led to inflation at multi-year high in many countries. Central banks, including U.S. Fed, will be increasing interest rates at a faster pace to tame this inflation. Along with geopolitical tensions in Ukraine, can hamper growth across global economies and and can keep markets volatile going forward. Our O'Neill methodology also suggests the same, as distribution days on Nifty has increased to four till Tuesday, when we downgraded the market status to uptrend under pressure. 
going forward if more distribution base gets piled up we need to downgrade the market status further to downtrend on the flip side if markets are able to regain its recent highs of 18115 we will move the market back to confirm the uptrend so the stock selection in this market should be limited to good fundamental companies with strong earnings growth and superior cash flows along with good technical setup such as breaking out of early stage bases and strong rs strength and in increasing institutional holdings Thank you guys and now is the time to take a break and enjoy the weekend hope you found this week's market wrap informative and stay safe and stay healthy